Welcome to the Hollow Knight Minecraft randomizer speedrun, where the goal is to beat the Radiance in Hollow Knight and the Ender Dragon in Minecraft as fast as possible. The Hollow Knight randomizer is the same as normal. When you pick up an item, it's randomized to become another Hollow Knight item, or it can send an item to Minecraft instead. In Minecraft, you can receive items such as pork chops, arrows, ender pearls, iron ore, diamonds, and more, or you can receive recipe unlocks. In the Minecraft randomizer, almost all important crafting recipes are locked by default, meaning the recipe must be found somewhere in one of the two games before the player can craft using it. While these recipes and items can simply be found in Hollow Knight, in Minecraft they must be earned through advancements. Also, to even spawn the Ender Dragon into the game, the player must fill the advancements counter at the top of the screen. There are, however, a few things tilting the odds in my favor. First, every 10% of locations checked in either game grants the player a hint, which can be used to ask the randomizer the location of a single specific item. Because there are no duplicate items in either game, these hints must be used carefully. Second, when one of the games is completed, it sends all undiscovered items in that game to the other game. Third, dying in Minecraft does not drop your items, and structure spawn rates are increased. But this is still an insanely difficult randomizer that I spent weeks trying to beat, and I'm making it my goal to beat it as fast as possible. So let's see how it goes. But first, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of this video, The Last Case of Benedict Fox. The Last Case of Benedict Fox is a new, visually stunning 2D action-adventure metroidvania with a focus on puzzle solving. Benedict Fox is a detective who shares his body with a demon companion and uses his gift for infiltrating human memories to solve the mysterious deaths of two occult members, discover his own past, and uncover the secrets of a ruthless organization of dark magic. Combat in Benedict Fox is tactical. Your character is a glass cannon, but has a parry, dodge, and a powerful gun usable after performing enough melee attacks. The Metroidvania exploration, platforming, and combat elements are balanced out by an intriguing narrative and puzzle-solving segments that require some actual thoughtfulness. The game also has great accessibility options for combat, exploration, and puzzles. If you're interested in trying out a new, unique Metroidvania, click the link in the description to check out The Last Case of Benedict Fox. But with that, let's get to the video. We'll be starting with Minecraft. So, let's do this. Okay, we've got a cow right off the bat. Getting leather is an achievement or advancement if you want to get technical. And we got progressive armor right off the bat. And we got fluke nest. And we got enchanting. So you get a lot of advancements super quick in Minecraft. That's why I'm starting with Minecraft. We got an advancement for killing an enemy, for getting leather, and for getting wood. And we're about to get a few more. Progressive armor allows us to make iron armor. We got Mantis Claw and we got Shade Soul, aka Vengeful Spirit. Holy crap. Okay, this is a really, really good start. That is pretty lucky, I would say. <laughs> so there is an advancement also tied to planting a seed. So I can put this down and... And we got the bucket recipe. Okay, bucket is actually really important because that is an avenue to get into the nether. Getting into the nether is absolutely necessary at some point because you need to get blaze powder to create eyes of ender. Eyes of ender let you locate the end, which lets you kill the ender dragon and win the randomizer. It also, the nether is tied to a lot of advancements, so the nether is just generally really important. I'm also going to get a couple more seeds just to um, potentially breed some chickens if I find some, because that's a really quick advancement to get, just breeding any animals. One of the most important things in Minecraft is just finding structures, because structures just let you get random items, and it's much faster to randomly find those items than it is to find the recipes to make those items. So one of the fastest ways to find structures, there's a portal in the distance, is to just put down a crafting table and make boats. And we're going to go straight to this portal. Ideally, I'd like to find a portal that's like almost finished or that I can quickly finish using the bucket. So that means like a portal with lava next to it. Not all portals have it. 
Especially this pro This one might not. Okay, it does. Uh, Flint and Steel is super nice to get. This portal is actually kind of close to being done, and I can finish it using a bucket. The only thing is I don't have a bucket, and I can't craft iron ingots right now because I can't make a furnace. I also can't make a stone pickaxe because I haven't unlocked that either. There's another rune portal. This is a timed run. You have to take that into account, so I'm not necessarily going to be doing everything possible. I'm just going to be getting through this as quickly as I can. There's a pillager's tower. Pillager's towers can potentially get you crossbows, and killing pillager brutes is also an advancement, which is pretty easy to get if one spawns. They're not that difficult to kill. I would... Oh, there's the brute. I saw him. Okay, we got an advancement for getting cobblestone. So you'd think, just make a cobblestone pickaxe. Oh, got one for that, and we got some arrows, okay. Also, the wheat is an advancement too. Bacon bread, we got a saddle. Take the crossbow, and I'm going to get a ton of advancements right now by killing a pillager with a crossbow. It might even be the brute. Where was that brute? I saw him in the distance. Nice. Lifeblood. Oh, why is, oh, I got a bee trap. Oh, I got progressive resource crafting. Nice. I gotta eat the bread. I hear one aiming at me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, God. <laughs> this is... Where's the brute? Oh, my fucking bees. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's the chicken. Are there two chickens? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna breed chickens real quick. And I'm going to... I got a hollow nest seal. I really want to find that brute because it's such an easy and quick advancement to get. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, nice. Now I need to run. Oh my god. Why are there so many? Perfect. <laughs> this is totally... Fine. Hey, I know a good way to deal with this. Light them on fire. Okay, perfect. Don't light myself on fire. Jesus. Actually, I have a golden apple. Let's use this. So, can't make any stone anything yet. And that's okay. I need to get away from this pillager's outpost. There's too many enemies. But it's nighttime, so I might just switch over to Hollow Knight so I don't have to, like, navigate around in the middle of the night. So that's going to be annoying, and I don't have any, like, quick achievements that I can get off nighttime enemies that'll make it, like, worth it. Let me make a spot for myself. Okay. Okay. Let's go into Hollow Knight. We have Mantis Claw, so we can actually just... We could go straight up and to the left, but I can save that for later. I'm gonna get Fury of the Fallen right off the bat. Uh, it's just Geo. Okay, that's not the best. And the Lifeblood Cocoon up here is also a check. I don't have Geo Rocks randomized because I feel like it would take too much time with the whole Minecraft randomizer at the same time. I'm pretty much just going to do Hollow Knight until it's daytime again in Minecraft. That's at least the plan. Uh, we can check his Zelda. But what we want is like progressive tools or weapons. Those are definitely like some of the nicest things to get. Just because like obviously being able to make iron or diamond tools or weapons is going to be very nice. Crystal heart. Okay. <laughs> we got movement right off the bat. And we have vengeful spirit and mantis claw. Our Hollow Knight playthrough is going super well. Minecraft is going decently. Dream nail for one grub. Um, Hive Blood, not super important. Have we saved a grub? Oh, we have. We got a grub from Mi Minecraft already, which lets us get Dream Nail. So we could do Moloch. We could even go straight into Green Path. Moloch is, like, kind of fast with Vengeful Spirit. Okay, that was a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Okay, what do we got? We got a simple key. The main thing that'll let us do is get into the waterways. And this mask shard is gonna be a check, so I'm gonna get this. 
vessel fragment. We're actually one vessel fragment away from getting a, a completed vessel, which uh, is pretty nice because we do have a spell already. So one thing worth noting is that in Minecraft, we have enchanting. Pretty rare to get enchanting this early. We also have a saddle. So those can potentially unlock advancements for us to do, like making a bookshelf is an advancement. Okay, let's get this. Free money. We can actually get glowing womb right off the bat. This is so awkward. Used to having a shaman stone for this. Okay, Minecraft bee trap. Oh my god, I... Okay, the bees all spawned outside of my little spot. <laughs> So bee traps can spawn in Minecraft because of course the modders had to add curses. Nice and easy false knight. I'm gonna be benching an ancestral mound so I may as well save the soul for myself. Oh, elegant key. Okay, elegant key opens up two checks. Okay, we got flint and steel. That lets us craft flint and steel, but it's not super important because we already have it. The thing with Archipelago is it doesn't have to be as thorough as possible as long as you're able to beat the game. Once you beat the game, it unlocks everything that you didn't get and it just sends it out. Okay. Okay, progressive weapons, yes. Monarch wings, yes. Vessel fragment, sure. And eight gold ore, not too important. Okay, that's really good. Okay. Four diamond ore. I'll take that. Ratchel strength. Four emeralds. That's going to be important for trading with villagers. And scrubber flies. Elegy. Not so useful. Let's go back to Salubra and make our way to resting grounds super fast. Because the fact that I have 600 essence means I might be able to get a few items from the seer. Okay, it's daytime in Minecraft. I could actually play around a bit here. I don't think I found any food through the randomizer yet. Usually you'd have found some food by now, like some cooked pork chops. Oh, this portal's almost done. It's actually pretty nice. So I'd have to break. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five blocks is quite a few. Oh, there's another pillager's tower and a village. Okay, village is more important. Um, oh, I can kill the iron golem. Wait, what? What just shot at me? Come here. Oh, you fuckers. I'm trying to fight an iron golem, not you guys. Okay, I need to use a bed. Iron golem is going to take care of the raid, so maybe I don't want to make the iron golem my enemy quite yet. I don't think I've got a horse yet, have I? Come on, horse. Be my friend. No, there's a pillager. Oh, don't hit the horse. Come on, dude. That other horse is just acting as my shield. Okay, we're fine. Oh, bookshelves. They drop books, so I can just farm these real quick and then make a bookshelf because I have enchanting. So you do need the enchanting recipe unlock, which I managed to get like right away. And we can just use that to make a bookshelf and get a simple key. Come here. Hopefully I don't get interrupted. Oh my God, as soon as I said that. Come on, man. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep. Back to Hollow Knight. <laughs> Do your thing, Iron Golem, even though I was trying to kill you. Main thing is I need iron ingots to make a bucket. Okay, nice. Howling Wraiths, nice. Okay, that's really good. Okay, just making some chests, because I'm going to use this as kind of like a little base almost. I forgot I had Monarch Wings. When did that? Oh yeah, I bought it. I totally forgot that I had it. It's so hard to remember what you actually have in these games sometimes. The fact that I have Monarch Wings as well on top of everything else. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy rando. Really good luck so far, but just because you get good luck at the start doesn't mean it's going to be easy overall. Sometimes you just get stuck at the end. Got a grub. You got two grubs. Mask Shard, Pale Ore. Okay, we don't need anything else from this year. All we really need in Hollow Knight is Mothwing Cloak, and we've got like all the main movement items. Four emeralds. I think that puts me at eight. Okay, let's get this bench. It's always good to get benches so you can warp back to them later. 
blessed seed. Holy crap. Now I can just like breeze through these areas, but you never know, like, because of the fact that you have to beat two games, it's pretty likely that you'll get stuck somewhere at some point. So like, I might need something to like finish Minecraft that like might take me ages to get. I want to make a furnace in Minecraft. Ah, of course it's a grub. Looks like the raid is over as well. So I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna kill all these cows. Typically at this point, you'd have uh, found some food because you can randomly get food in Minecraft. Haven't had any luck with that. That's okay. We can probably find some food if we look through these chests in the village. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. <laughs> so, like as soon as I say I need something, the randomizer is just like, here, take it. <laughs> Sleeping in a bed, it's also an advancement. We got a steady body. Don't know how many notches that costs, but steady body is always useful, always blessed should be safe. Oh god. <laughs> this guy would kill me in one hit, so I'm like uh, a little bit scared. Okay. <laughs> no! The bed was obstructed, so I lost my spawn point. That's okay. I don't have any items over there, so it's like not the worst thing. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, there's a village right here. Is this the same village? I don't think this is the same village, is it? I forget, like, what I did to get to that village. <laughs> what a stupid way to die. Oh, we can do a trade. Oh, progressive weapons. Nice. So that lets us make stone weapons. And there's a portal over there. Oh, there's another village in the distance. This is a really lucky seed. That rude portal looks almost finished. Holy crap. Oh, I don't see any lava. That's too bad. If there were lava, I could just quickly finish that off. But we have a crazy seed here. This is such a good seed. I'm going to essentially make this ruined portal my base. Put some stuff away in here that I don't need right away. And let's craft a furnace so I can smelt that diamond. Well, I hadn't even crafted a furnace yet. That is an advancement to just pick up a diamond. There is an obsidian right here. But my goal is to just craft an iron bucket. Lava in an iron bucket is an advancement anyway. So like, oh, there's lava. Okay. I have no idea where the source for that is. Okay, I think I see it. it. Must be right here. Nice. Okay, we got city crest. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, there's water. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We just respawn here. We can quickly just... Uh... Throw the bucket in there. Let's make another bucket. We can make use of three buckets to make cake. So like, it's not like crafting extra buckets is a bad thing. It's actually going to be pretty helpful in the long run to have three buckets. Um, okay, there we go. I'm just going to run back. I need to double check something. I think you get an advancement just for making, yeah, one piece of iron armor. So I'm going to do that. Got a mask shard. We've got a decent number of advancements overall. Pretty happy with that. We can set our bed up down here. Put a block here and here, and we've got our little house. Okay, back to Hollow Knight. I'm gonna grab this, and I'm going to actually go straight to Massive Moss Charger, because there's a few checks over there that I want to get. I could go to Stone Sanctuary, but I don't have uh, Dream Nail yet. It's so hard to remember what you actually have in these games sometimes. can't get no eyes until I get Dream Nail. Oh, Shopkeeper's Key. That's super useful because that opens up several checks at Sly that are really fast. Those checks are like free, essentially. Channeling book for enchanting. Okay. Uh, I need an anvil to make use of that though. And I don't think I can craft anvils until I get level two resource crafting, like uh, progressive resources. Progressive resources is like, it's not mandatory to beat the game, but it's definitely really helpful. Unless you can just use books with the enchanting table. I should probably make an enchanting table anyway, because I think it's an advancement. I could go through all of Howling Cliffs, but I feel like, oh, Dream Wielder for one, not bad. But I feel like I could do that uh, through King's Pass a little bit. Mm, no, there's a grub check. Once I've got the check up here, it almost feels like a waste not to go to the rest of Howling Cliffs at this point. 
fragile strength. And there's also... Okay, <laughs> none of the bees spawned inside, thankfully. White fragment, nice. Okay, so the nice thing about the archipelago randomizer is once you get into the late game, you can start asking for hints. And you just get hints based off of how many checks you've done so far. King Soul. Okay. <laughs> We're getting such good luck in Hollow Knight. I'm just going to kill Hornet right away. Typically, you might want to get the bench first. But in this case, we have Dash. So we can just exit the Hornet arena. Nice, really quick fight. Yeah, you got... Th oh, 32 arrows. Okay, that's useful. Oh, a Shriek. Oh my god. Everyone's watching this thinking, wow, that, that randomizer is easy as hell, Fireborn. Oh, progressive tools. Finally. Finally, I can make stone pickaxes. That is also an advancement. I'm gonna get that advancement super quickly. What do we got? We got archery. We've already got a crossbow, so archery isn't the most important thing to get. E trap. Okay, I'm not taking any damage. All the bees just spawn underground, so like they, they don't even do anything a lot of the time. That's because I'm AFKing. Oh, Ender Pearls. Oh, I forgot about Shopkeeper's Key. I need to go to Sly as well. Okay, what do we got? Charm Notch? Nice. Joni's Blessing, another Charm <laughs> Holy, holy crap. So many charm notches. We can equip fragile strength. Why not? Four emeralds. Sure. Arcane egg. Sure. Progressive armor. So I can make diamond armor now. Uh, we can upgrade this to unbreakable strength. Okay. That was actually some pretty good stuff. My next step in Hollow Knight is going into City of Tears. The nail upgrade is going to be really nice with unbreakable strength. And there's just a lot of checks in Sanctum that I could quickly get. Uh, maybe I won't go into Sanctum right away, though, because going into Sanctum when you have Dive is more efficient. Okay. Eight gold ore. That's going to be useful for trades. Um, I only have three Ender Pearls right now, so I'm definitely going to need to trade to try and get more Ender Pearls. Diamond ore, nice. 32 arrows, super worth it. Having a full stack of arrows is definitely going to be enough for me to kill the Ender Dragon. I think I need to plan out Minecraft a little bit more, like where I'm going to be going in Minecraft. Actually, I should just go straight into the Nether and make um, armor for myself and just pretty much head straight in. There's tons of achievements in the Nether and I can start working on... Oh, Ismus here. I can start working on getting Eyes of Ender. The only thing is that I need brewing, because you need brewing in order to craft blaze powder. You know, brewing is just like one thing that you might not ever find. What is going on in Minecraft? Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay, that's what that was. Well, looks like my little house is being taken over by this dude. That's cool. We can finish off this uh, nether portal right here. All I gotta do is go like that, and then like... And then... Oh, I am so sorry. Okay, there, there we go. We can make a portal. I'm actually gonna make a run toward an ocean because I need to catch a fish in a bucket. And that's just like something that's really quick and easy to do, and I can just drown myself after. Okay, and switch back to Hollow Knight. Hidden Station Stag, nice. King's Brand. Distant Village, oh, okay. I didn't realize I had that. Shield, oh, nice. If you block something with a shield, it gives you an advancement. Mask Shard for 300, sure. Just sleeping so it's daytime. And I'm gonna make a shield. Aha, you only need one piece of diamond armor. Okay, let's go into the nether. We got two grubs, yippee. We cannot make gold ingots from gold blocks. The reason is we need resource level two, and we only have resource level one, but resource level one lets us make ingots out of nuggets. Come on, give me some good stuff. I'm looking for ender pearls and obsidian. 
just not bee traps. I'm not looking for bee traps, dude. Oh, we got crying obsidian too. Nice. Uh, soul speed three. I'll take that. Just got to make sure to keep one piece of gold armor on. Oh, more ender pearls. Okay, good. I have normal ender pearl odds, unlike some people. So if I'm getting a lot, then it's just good luck. I promise. Got six of those. I want to explore. I want to find a stronghold or a fortress rather. I want to um, find a bastion as well. Oh, what's that? Is that a bastion? Looks like a bastion. Oh, and there, here's a fortress. Nice. Basically, we want to find wither skeletons and also blazes. Getting a wither skeleton skull is an advancement. And there's a blaze spawner over there. You can see in the distance. Nice. That was quick. Shoot at me. Progressive weapons. Okay, that's great. I really want to get blaze rods. I'm going to need like around 10, I would say. You don't need quite that many, but it's nice to get extras just in case you need them. There we go. We got one. We only need four more, so we're pretty close. We get one from making an Eye of Ender. We get one from entering the end. Okay, I'm going to go kill this skeleton. Because if I get three Wither Skeleton Skulls, then I will be able to spawn the Wither and just get an advancement out of that. You bastard. Still at three. Okay, we got four Blaze Rods. <laughs> This is so slow. Yeah, I've got 10 blaze rods. Time to peace out. Any wither skeletons I can kill are icing on the cake at this point. I want to see if that um, building was actually a bastion or not, because that's going to influence my strategy for the rest of the run, potentially. It's probably the... Okay, looks like that might just be all fortress. The fact that there's no bastion here means that, like, the usefulness of this fortress is limited. So I'm just going to die. We have nine ender pearls total with ten blaze rods, crying obsidian, actual obsidian. How do I make an enchanting table? I think it's four obsidian, right? Yeah. I would like to explore a bit more of the nether to see if I can find a, one of those biomes with endermen. Just spending some time killing Enderman in one of those biomes could get me a bunch of Ender Pearls really quickly. These chests typically... Oh, okay. Yeah, one of the good things they can contain is diamonds. And that's actually enough diamonds to make me an enchanting table. But I needed to obsidian as well. I forgot I got uh, diamond tools as well. So I can make a diamond sword. So let's actually do that right now. Totally forgot. Oh, we got another skull. That puts us one more skull towards the wither. I'm not going to spawn the wither to actually kill it. I'm going to spawn the wither just to get the advancement and then run away. Oh, there's a bunch of wither skeletons. I'm going to kill all of them and hopefully get a third skull. There we go. I think that was a skull. Oh. The odds of these skulls dropping has definitely been boosted by the randomizer. Because I think they're normally like a 2.5% drop rate. Holy crap, <laughs> it's like a 100% drop rate. I don't think it's actually that high, but it's pretty high. This pickaxe is almost broken. I don't want to have to use stone or wood pickaxes. <laughs> like I could make a gold pickaxe, but <laughs> yeah, that takes so long to mine, but it's worth it. We have to just pray we get good trades when we actually get around to trading, because I don't know where to find the uh, ender biome. Hopefully that's enough to get us a few more ender pearls at least. Give me some good stuff. Oh, ender pearls. Ah, uh, soul speed two, not really worth it. More ender pearls, nice. We got five ender pearls. I would still like some more though. We can get return by sender or return to sender. Nice. Okay, I haven't been in Hollow Knight in forever. <laughs> See, the thing is, is I could go into Hollow Knight and there's a... Oh, that's the Ender Forest. I just want to kill Enderman. I'm running a bit low on food, though. That's unfortunate. I also don't know how to get back here very easily. There's an Ender Pearl. Nice. Seven. Nice. This is definitely like a much faster way to get Ender Pearls, especially with a Diamond Sword. We got nine. Can we get one more? We just die here. That's okay. 
that's okay. So I think we have enough Ender Pearls to beat the game. Yeah, we have 18. 18 is good. The one thing that we still need is brewing. So I'm going to use a hint to see where the brewing recipe is. And it could be in Minecraft. It could be in Hollow Knight. Brewing is at Spell Twister. That just means I need to go to Spell Twister to get the brewing recipe. That's going to let me turn Blaze Powder into, or Blaze Rods into Blaze Powder. Let's make an enchanting table. Um, I am going to real quick go into the nether and create the wither. That way I don't have to deal with the wither in the overworld. And this poor llama that got sent in here is going to die. And that is... Oh, I got a campfire. Hopefully the wither doesn't come through here. I'm actually just gonna... I'd have to break the portal, wouldn't I? Oh, that's okay. Okay, protection one, unbreaking one. And projectile protection one and unbreaking one. I will take it. I'm gonna need all the food I can get. I'm gonna need all the blaze rods. I'm going to need to go to the village to get a bunch of bets because that's how I'm going to actually kill the ender dragon. So I have, how many beds do I have? I've got six, that is enough. Do I have enough food? Uh, no, I do not. But if I do a lot of checks in Hollow Knight, odds are I'll find some pork chops. Mm, I think I'm good to go, but it uh, definitely makes sense to go back into Hollow Knight. In Minecraft, all I really need is brewing and I can beat the game. So my main focus for the time being is going to be beating Minecraft because that'll let me release all the items into the Hollow Knight world. And then I can really buckle down and focus on beating Hollow Knight. I could actually go do Lurian and get the grub. May as well do that while I'm here. And then after I get Lurian, I can just warp to Soul Sanctum. What do we got? Fragile Heart for one, not bad. Watcher Knight's time. I'm gonna Dream Nail first real quick because we have a Dream Wielder, totally worth. Easy peasy. Let me get a couple checks out of this. So we get a Geo Chest, which is vanilla, but we also get the uh, Relic right here. And we get Lurian. Oh, we got Shade Soul. Shade Soul is super good. Shade Soul really speeds things up. After we get Lurian, I'm just going to warp out to the Soul Sanctum bench, and then I'm gonna go get Brewing. And then after I get Brewing, I'm probably just gonna go beat Minecraft. Might take me a while, because I'm really bad at triangulating the stronghold. <laughs> oh, we got Pork Chops, like I said. And we got brewing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to warp. I don't want to listen to corner for humming, so I'm going to move over here. And we're going to go beat the Ender Dragon. So I need to craft the Eyes of Ender. I'm going to craft 16 of them. And we are pretty much good to go. Okay, which direction is the stronghold in? Okay, this way. And the first one shattered. Don't do this to me, game. Horse armor, nice. I've actually never ridden a horse before in Minecraft. I just assumed it's faster <laughs> than walking. Okay, continuing in this direction. Of course it shatters. <laughs> Aha, we're very close. We can maybe just go into this water here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Straight down here. Oh, here's the stronghold. The Ender Dragon has awoken, and I got a grub. <laughs> so actually finding the uh, portal in the stronghold can sometimes be annoying. Hopefully we get lucky. Okay, let's go down again. And, oh, this is a weird looking generation. This is a dungeon. This is done, this is done. God, this is the worst when you just can't find the end portal. Oh. So I can actually make this real quick. This is just a quick advancement you can get. Worth it. I 
found it because of the silverfish spawner making noise. Ooh, okay. Gonna set a respawn point there. And yeah, <laughs> that was that was such a pain in the ass to find, but we finally made it. Place all these in. Ah, what a beautiful sound. What a beautiful sound. We're gonna beat the game, finally. Let's do this. Okay, where are we? Should probably dig upward. There we go. And now we just have to do the fights. Got one. That's over. That's over. No, those were both under. Okay, I want to use that. Uh oh. <laughs> I've wasted one. I threw it over again. <laughs> we will. Ah, we will do the stupid thing. Not the end of the world if we die, but I would prefer to do this nice and smoothly. <laughs> we don't lose our equipment if we die, but we're still losing time. I can easily get to that one. Just gonna go straight up. For the other one, it's good that I made a staircase, because like... Because I'm gonna need to go back up it again, so... Oops, perfect. Perfect landing. Crazy Minecraft parkour. You fucker. Why do you have to do that? Worth <laughs> it. I don't even give a shit anymore. We're not gonna pretend this is a clean fight. Nice. Okay. Nice. All of them are down. We can officially kill this. Get out of here. Where's the health bar? We did the thing. Everyone's impressed. You're doing great. Are you gonna perch? Come on, buddy. Okay, it's, I think it's perching now. Yeah, it's gotta be. I actually don't really know how to do this effectively. <laughs> As you can see. Now it's perching again. Make attempt number two at using a bed. Perfect. Exactly what I meant to do. Oh, I should have used water. No. I think I'm doing a lot of damage there. There we go. Okay. That's a lot of bee traps. Jesus Christ. The HP bar was not appearing, so I was like, am I even dealing damage to it? Okay, we beat Minecraft. Let's just jump in, and we're switching back to Hollow Knight while the credits roll. Now, I'm not sure everything that got sent into the Minecraft world. I'm going to have to check my dreamers. I've got Lurian and Monomon, and I've got Void Heart, so I'm just looking for Hera. So I'm actually going to use a hint to get Hera to see where it is. It's at Arcane Egg in the Birthplace. But do I have Shade Cloak? Oh, I need Shade Cloak. So I need to use a hint for Shade Cloak as well. Crystal Guardian. Okay, so I need to go to Crystal Guardian. I don't have Lantern or Dive, but I can enter Crystal Peak through the Dirtmouth entrance. Let's use this little trick to get in. No, wait, no, wait. There's two arcane eggs and the birthplace arcane egg. I think I can just get that right now. I was thinking of the shade cloak arcane egg, which you need shade cloak to get. Let's just get shade cloak just in case, but I think I don't need this. Okay, this is shade cloak and we can go down to hidden station. 
I haven't fought the Ender Dragon since it got updated, so I was so confused if I was like dealing damage to it or not. I fought the Ender Dragon like when it released, which was a long time ago, and then it got updated with like all these new behaviors and stuff, which <laughs> I was kind of confused by. I'd seen people fight it a bit, but I didn't fully understand all of it. <laughs> but we still managed to do it, which is awesome. And I'm just happy to be able to showcase this super cool randomizer. And we've got Hera. So we can beat Hollow Knight. Let's go beat the game super quickly. This is um, way faster than my other attempts. Like, I had an attempt where I was like five hours in and I had to give up because I just couldn't figure out how to progress. This is way below my goal time, which was which was just four hours. THK is done. Time for the Radiance. Get the this was a really cool randomizer, though. And the thing about this randomizer is there's a ton of other games that you can play, not just Hollow Knight and Minecraft. Okay, nice and easy. Much easier than the Ender Dragon, although... Maybe someone who's actually played more Minecraft than me would not think the same. I don't know. Nice. All done. That was awesome. Such a good seed. I got so lucky, especially early on. But even toward the end, I got kind of lucky that a lot of the important things that I needed, like brewing, were easy to find. They were, like that was at Spell Twister. The Dreamers were all easy to get because I just beat Minecraft to get them. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the randomizer. If you are interested in trying this out, go to archipelago.gg. I'll link in the description. It's a little bit tricky to set up. You will have to read some guides. I definitely recommend giving it a shot if you're really into randomizers. This is pretty cool stuff. And yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace. Oh. Oh.